Why, hello everyone, uh, Sean here, and today I am going to be talking about something uh, quite different, uh, but yet and still in my interests, uh, maybe, maybe it may be surprising to some people, but uh, I'm actually like a huge avid fan of BattleBots uh, ever since the days of Comedy Central. Um, I loved um, all the old school robots, of course, including Toro, Dissector, Tazbot, obviously. So Donald Hudson is like kind of like my favorite builder, I guess. But all those robots back in the day, I love them. You know, they have a special place in my heart when it comes to just being a um, BattleBot sort of combat robot geek, I guess, from a viewer side of things. I never built any robots myself other than imitating um, some of the BattleBots and bringing them to school and then they're just like whoa what's going on you know it's kind of cool actually like you know uh, when BattleBots was actually pretty big too when a number of people in, my, in middle school were talking about it back in uh, the 2000s but anyway point being here is that uh, I watched BattleBots um, and I was super happy when it came back here and they just had its latest season and there's been a controversy once again uh, this time around this is involving with a fight with two robots called uh, Riptide and Captain Shredderator. So um, let me see if I can like get a good shot of the two. So the the robot that kind of has the American like you know kind of like the Captain America shield kind of color and design uh, that's Captain Shredderator. Uh, the spin robot with its uh, entire robot uh, entire body spinning so that's a tiny type, type of robot that it is and then riptide is um more of like um a sort of like i wouldn't say straightforward design but it's pretty um sophisticated in that sense where it's pretty low to the ground it's got a uh, egg beater sort of type of spinner uh, and it sp speeds up at higher speeds and stuff like that um a little more of a traditional combat robot and that itself has been a controversy too, but maybe I'll talk about that later as well to supplement the sort of drama that's been surrounding this whole, or not even drama, I guess, but just controversy surrounding this whole thing in this particular fight. And, uh, uh, but, but basically what happened was that, uh, Riptide has, did win this fight, spoiler alert, but like, that's not the, uh, point of the video, but I wanted to talk about the controversy surrounding it and, um, you know, from the, title right here you can judge right here that um something happened with uh how riptide got that victory uh, over uh captain shredderator so um this is one of the recent episodes right and uh this is involving with a knockout that uh, apparently has gone too far right uh where shredderator seemingly was like pretty much disabled right um there was no coming back from shredderator but uh let's just take a look so we don't have to explain it too much but yeah uh oh, yeah, let me... yeah so he pops him up keeps hitting him and uh, at one point he kept uh he flipped him back over at one point and then Oh, and then they even hit him after the fact that they didn't like flip himself over. They kept spinning and stuff like that. And then they kept just hitting him. Just hitting him. They kept hitting him after that. And yeah, so that was um, that was essentially what happened with the uh, the fight here. So you can kind of you can definitely see the reaction from. Captain Shredder's team with um yeah especially with the captain here I think it was, I believe his name is uh Nick Nave um or Brian Nave definitely with Mr. Nave uh, was not having it he was definitely not pleased with what was happening in front of him um yeah so you can kind of let's go back here so Yeah, very devastating robot, so Riptide, man. But, um, yeah, so it started from that hit, and, you know, it wasn't just like that one hit, and then they had that reaction. They kept hitting him. They kept hitting him, even, if, even though, um, 
they appear to be disabled. So, um, point, yeah. So, like, it, it, you know, it's one thing if it was that one hit, right? But then they kept, it just kept going and going. As you can kind of see here again, as I play it back, you know, the team, Riptide's team was like, hit him again, hit him again, you know? So you can kind of hear them. Yeah, see, they like, hit him again, hit him again. Like, they were just going at it. So, um, you know, there's obviously, like, uh, sides to this controversy. Like, you know, did they take it too far, you know, or um, it's well within battle bots and stuff like that. I mean, um, at, for, at the very first time uh, this happened, you know, and I'm going to be honest here, right, as a viewer. Uh, I just thought to myself, you know, this is BattleBots, and this is all about, you know, the, you know, we're, we're here for the destruction, right? And so, as a viewer, obviously, this is something what we would like to see, right? Just destruction, just robots getting shredded and stuff like that. Something that you don't really see in like other sport, uh, some sort of like, um, sport or anything like that, or anything like any competitive event. Outside of like, you know, car crashes and stuff like that, like destruction derbies and all, demolition derbies and monster trucks and stuff like that. I mean, this is a type of different type of destruction. It's like, you know, just two robots fighting each other, getting shredded. And, you know, that's the whole concept of it. Um, you know, so that side of me was like, well, I mean, this is just what BattleBots is all about, right? Just destruction and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. Um, so this should have been fine. And, you know... At the end of the day, I oh you know Captain Shredder's Shredder Raider's team should have should just like go in expecting that you know that was my honestly my my first initial thought in here. But the more I, but the more I thought about it and the more stuff I was reading about um, this situation, especially in the comments here too, um, I actually started to think you know hey, I mean yeah I think more and more I think they definitely did take it to uh definitely too far especially having it to watch it like the second and third time and the more times i watch it i'm like oh wow this is actually they actually went at it like i didn't think um hmm right so you know it's definitely like worth watching over and over just to like understand like you know the whole the, the whole situation just to see like how much they hit them after the fact that they appear to be disabled right like um yeah they, they just kept hitting them and hitting them and then even after the fact they're like hey whoa like that reaction like they just kept hitting them like i didn't even put the two together right so that definitely um like painted my impression very differently until till now so overall i mean do i did i think they took um uh, go, did it, did they go far with that? I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I I I personally now think they did. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, for right now, in in this uh, season of BattleBots uh, World Championship Seven, there's no rule where oh, if you take it too far, blah blah blah, that type of stuff. Like, I don't think there's any rule that um, really defines anything about this uh, relating to this right there's no like tap out there's, um button or thing like that i think there is a tap out tap out button in in other um combat ro uh combat robot uh sports uh events and such like that some some events uh do actually have a, a tap out button and uh but that, that's a, that seems to be fewer or anything like that or just at least some of them anyway but but it exists the concept of having a tap out button actually exists somewhere so i think definitely uh, going forward uh battlebots should definitely incorporate that into their um into their rules and sort of like yeah the the, the sort of like the um I guess process of of the of this uh, of these fights, right? Um, that should be a part of the sort of repertoire. Of, you know, if you want to tap out, hit the tap out button, right? Because otherwise, um, you know, people just say like, "Whoa, okay, all right, that's it, I'm done." You know, that type of thing. Like they just manually did it, right? But um, to actually have a written rule where if they if they tap out, you know, saying, oh, I give up or anything like that, then then they need to back off or anything like that. But for right now, there's no written rule 
to that sort. So I do see that side of like, oh, I mean, they're just they're still within the rules. There's no like, you know, anything regulating that. Um, I I still kind of see that side of the argument, right? But there's that unwritten rule, I guess, you know, where you know because these building these robots are very expensive, like upwards of like ten thousand dollars or even more, even for some robots. Um, you know, you definitely want to like preserve the robot as much as you can to just avoid those costs and every builder faces that so they, it's like it's like a like a thing within like a code of honor kind of thing within the builders right and so they understand each other of how hard it is to even get these robots in the in the in the ring or the arena so i definitely def definitely um sympathize with the builders on that part uh, especially because you know it's just money in general but nowadays it's it definitely is hard you know it's hard to buy stuff sometimes that you really like we really want or um when you want to build something and you know of course it just it costs money right and you want to definitely save as much as possible to you know get it done and stuff like that and to you know to celebrate your passion whatever it is you know what uh do you, do you uh are you building your own electronic uh, whether it's like a fight stick or um, your own PC, uh, you know, stuff like that. And obviously all those things cost big money. So you want to like really keep it tight as much as possible, right? With the wallet, but the, also the efficiency and all that stuff, the effectiveness, right? All that goes into building these robots. And so they have that rule to, uh, like, well, unwritten rule, excuse me, that code, right? That code of honor sort of thing to just like you know be friendly towards each other but to at the same time do what's necessary to win win the fight right which is to obviously knock out your opponent right because you don't want to go to the judges a decision because sometimes those judges man they can just make some of the most controversial choices of all time within the history of these sort of combat uh robotic fights so you definitely want to um you know go for the knockout and sometimes, man, you know, you got to do what it takes to to knock them out. And sometimes, right, like you got to really make sure you finish your plate, you know, because otherwise, if you don't finish your plate, hey, they can come back to life and beat you. That's 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 a possibility within BattleBots. And I th I believe that's what happened in a couple of other fights um, in these modern seasons, although I can't really recall right on top of my head right away. But, you know, the point being is that that is a possibility and maybe that is an argument that can be made when it comes to this when it comes to these sort of fights right like you know sometimes you do want to make sure you finish your play but in this particular case here you know when a team says uh i mean they 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 they, they you know reacted right like you know hey like whoa you know that's 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 enough or whatever right so um I think that was a warrant for, you know, them giving up or surrendering or whatever. So, or tapping out, if you will. And I, I think Rip, Team Riptide should listen to them um, and, you know, back off from, for, for, um, from their robots. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, obviously in the comments, there is uh, been some arguments, right? But then, um, you know... There's also been some like sort of extra bits where it's like starting to kind of make sense as to why this kind of it's not not directly why but it kind of like makes sense why they're acting this way or something like that you know there's stuff about with ethan and then ethan's dad and there's some like weird stuff about his dad like doing certain things and just like hmm right now you know the more i read, read about this stuff you know, the more I feel kind of soured about this team, unfortunately, because I did like Team Riptide uh, initially, right? I like their personality. They're just really, like, you know, pretty aggressive. They're just, like, very energetic and, of course, to, a, you know, to to some degree, like, arrogant and, and all that stuff, right? Which is fine uh, within BattleBots, but uh, when it comes to this stuff, now that I, like, really look at it, you know, um, that's... Yeah, like you definitely want to have a line drawn somewhere when it comes to like overkilling them, right? So um, there is, you know, um, there was that earlier thing that I said about like, oh, if you don't, you know, uh, I think I said something about the line along the lines of like, if you don't, um, 
go into BattleBots not wanting your robot to be destroyed, then you shouldn't kind of be there, right? Well, um, if I haven't said it already, well, then, well, I've, I've, I've mentioned this point. And, some, and there are people who are making that same point within the comments, of course, right? Hey, you know, if you don't have that expectation and um, going in that your robot's going to be just completely destroyed, then you shouldn't uh, enter the competition, right? Someone made the analogy with the cars, right? If you don't, uh, if you want to race, or if you're going to race, um, not expecting for yourself to crash and destroy the car, then don't, then don't, um, you know, don't race. You can't race then, right? You don't, you don't have the right to race. I mean, well, then what about the, um, I mean, when it comes to like UFC fights or MMAs and stuff like that, I mean, I mean that, <laughs> I feel like then that becomes more of a weaker argument then because I think we should all have a right to celebrate or to sort of exercise or just like, um, you know, uh, just like celebrate our passions and stuff like that. Whether it's fighting or going to the gym, um, baseball or any whatever sport that involves was, uh, the possibility of being injured and and to say that like oh if you want if you don't want to get injured then don't, then don't play right that's like at the end of the day kind of like a weak argument uh, in my opinion because of those things right then how you're supposed to celebrate these physical these physical sports if you don't want to get injured right obviously no one wants to get injured right I mean. For the fighters, right? I mean, no one wants to get uh, like broken legs or um, pop their shoulder or anything like that. Like anything to that sort. Like all those things are possible. So how how you supposed to you know do these things if you are to be expected to have that in mind, right? Like it's just it's you know again it's it's just, I don't think that's a pretty good argument at the end of the day. I mean, we should all should be able to celebrate whatever we want to um even with that risk of that that injury and stuff like that and we should try to prevent that injury with each other as much as possible right so um no one wants to pay having to be expected to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for medical care and all that stuff right like or therapy or anything like that no one no one wants to go through that so obviously but we do want to celebrate whatever we're passionate about, especially with the physical sports. And so in this case here, I, I feel like this, 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 um, you know, I can see people trying to, uh, treat this in a similar fashion, right? Because these robots are expensive. We are expensive to repair as well. We humans are, we are expensive to, uh, to get repaired, right? With our legs, surgery in general, cosmetic surgery, <laughs> even at that, of course, repairing our hands repairing our legs knees back like that all, all that stuff is super expensive to go through right rehab right that's another uh timely process that's just it just sucks to go through you know um and of course that's all possible from playing sports and all that stuff too and again we should not be have to be expected like that so um i think at the end of the day um i unfortunately right uh, for Team Riptide, I think they did t take it too far. And, um, you know, Captain Shredder Raider's team, I definitely don't blame them for feeling this way because their robot is also expensive to repair or to reproduce, right? Obviously, it's like tens of, tens of thousands of dollars to get it all back up. And who knows of how they're going to come back from all this, right? I think they still have one more fight to go through or, or some other fights to go through um at that but yeah um i just wanted to get the main points out there that they, yes they did take take it too far and stuff like that um i mean let's I, I guess we can go through the comments now um you know this is this big old thing was uh, about the story what happened at the pits after the fight you know his dad was like making trying to make excuses for ethan it was like weird excuses like oh um uh, the quote here is, oh, I told Ethan if he was going too far, I would put my hand on his shoulder and he would know to calm down and stuff like that. So it's like, um, okay, like, what? Well, I mean, but what about, what, well, what about, you know, um, the other team, right? If the other team says, Hey, you're taking it too far, right? Like, Hey, I mean, we give up, we're dead. Right. So 
what about what about them right so obviously um i i i don't think that was a good way to handle it overall if even if you read the rest of this stuff right so um yeah so and there's been some other team stuff um within the building pit or whatever you call it and uh man it, it's just looking uh more and more sour for team riptide unfortunately like because again i didn't initially like them you know for their personality and stuff like that but now with all this stuff it's like oof it definitely does leave a sour taste now uh for those who are about uh about fans hey i mean one can ask what about tombstone right that's another robot that's been super destructive and all that stuff right and that is that that is a point i guess you could bring up but um ray billings the the builder for uh you know the captain for uh tombstone right always asked for the most part hey you want more right you want more you know that's like one of his quotes right so he was like that famous guy uh early on he was like um like the meta he seemed like you know unstoppable early on but then you know um stuff happens the meta changes more bots became more durable they build them better and um basically tombstone kind of like uh started to get leveled right so with these robots and so you know stuff like that changes and you do come to appreciate actually what uh billings did you know back you know uh during those days right so you know he had him asking do you want more it definitely had between uh, you, there are lines to be read between that right so and that's why we, uh this stuff is definitely something considered controversial so um yeah so i i think yeah again you know uh i hope i hope uh captain shredder can make it back in there for the sake of things and maybe perhaps you know um riptide has their stuff come back to them right like uh you know what come what goes around comes back around that i think that goes um the same that's how the saying goes what goes around um comes around right um i believe this is the saying so uh it's it's definitely uh um yeah it, it it just sucks right but for right now it's not written in the rules right now so it's like yeah you have the right to do it but with that code of honor and stuff like that and all the others like sort of the morals and stuff like that um does that mean is is the right thing to do i mean you know that's another question to ask but did they ha have the right to do it sure it's not against the rules and anything, anything like that for right now but you know with that with that stuff right in mind uh it definitely isn't right so they definitely have the right to feel this way they to react this way um my my, my mouse isn't here unfortunately but um you know i'm pointing at the, the team right here directly but like yeah it, it's um you know it sucks to have this sort of situation come down, right? Especially with, you know, on top of the situation I, I kind of mentioned earlier with uh, Riptide's design being um, like a pretty much a rehash from uh, one of the another drive, like a another um, person from the from another team with Mad Catter, right? Uh, Calvin uh, Eba, I believe his name is. He is uh, the driver for Mad Catter. And he actually is um, a, a a pretty renowned uh, Beetleweight champion, I believe, with his um, little robot, which has um, a huge resemblance to Riptide, right? The the egg beater design and everything that um, you can kind of see right uh, here. It pretty much looks the same. From the outside at least and that's why also they kind of have uh several targets on their back in fact and not just one but a lot uh not a lot more than one i guess you could say and not to mention you know the whole stuff that's going on in the building pit which i don't know exactly of course that's between the teams but from what from what i can read there's been some uh stuff with um riptide's team that uh would definitely leave at least uh put it nicely a sour taste in people's mouths so 
so far, um, for right now, it looks like the, this team is like probably the most disliked team um, out of the bunch uh, when it comes to the builders side of things. When it comes to the viewer side of things, it's like kind of an unknown. Um, Ignorance is bliss type of thing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's again unfortunate that um, not everyone can get along, and, and there is going. Um, it seemed like you know every builder was like really nice to each other and stuff like that. But you know you're gonna you're gonna have some uh, some rotten apples and in that uh, in that bunch, and unfortunately that is a uh, team Riptide, and so you know it is what it is, I guess for right now. So. Uh, that's all I got for uh, this little bit right here with BattleBots um, controversy. Um, yeah, so I'm 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 definitely gonna be keep watching. In fact, the new episode is coming out tonight as I record this, so I'm definitely gonna catch that and see if you know um, later on Riptide, you know, um, sort of uh, meets the sort of consequences uh, potentially. So we'll see. We'll see. We will definitely see. Hopefully, again, hope, I hope um, Captain Shared Raider and his team, um, ho uh, I hope for the best for them. Uh, I heard that, this is just rumors right now, but um, I heard that they're coming back possibly with a like heavily redesigned Captain Shredder Raider or just like, I don't know, a different robot or something. Um, there's been there's been teams with different robots at this point, but with that carrying that same name, but they're pretty heavily redesigned from what I can understand. So yeah, or I can see really, so... Uh, but anyways, if anyone is a uh, BattleBots fan uh, and has a comment to throw in about this situation, did they go too far? Or what do you guys think? Um, leave those in the comment section below because I'm all for a friendly discussion uh, Friendly discussion in the comment section. And uh, forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Uh, I just make videos of stuff I like and BattleBots happens to be one of them ever since from the 2000s. So middle school, man, that's... It's been going on for a long time, man. Dang. But yeah. Um, either way, thank you very much. Really appreciate uh, for all the support. And uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.